the method or el metodo move view. During a massive protest against large corporations and banks and the like, seven candidates have to compete with one another in order to weed out all but one for the one available position in a major corporation. They don't get direct interviews, but rather a series of tests that are designed to determine who's best fitted. This quite minimalist piece, it has a very sparse cast, for one thing. It, basically, we have the seven candidates and this really quirky secretary and that's kind of it. It's also very, it's not cheap, mind you, but it chooses to be very limited, I suppose is a good word for it. The setting is also quite limited. We basically just have the one meeting room, you know, a boardroom kind of location. And there's a little bit more, but that's pretty much where the entire thing takes place. The environment is very sterile, very almost clinical, sort of not very human and not very not very greeting. It looks professional, I suppose you could say. But it's very much it it's distinctly not human. You know, there are some computers and it has this kind of very perfected, refined feel. You don't feel welcome. The I'm, I'm not going to give away any of the tests or exactly what happens because that would be criminal. But what I will say is that the tests have the dynamics of this group change and it examines the dynamics of the groups. And these are seven very different people. So, of course, you know, it's very much a film about the characters. You have these people interacting with one another. It's similar to something like Twelve Angry Men, you know. It's very much how do these people interact with one another and what questions are raised, what points are made by, you know, it's not preachy, but it just, it explores what we human beings are like. It almost feels like one of those really twisted psychological experiments, you know, from like the 60s or something. The, you know, so yeah, there are some power struggles. We have, you know, various aspects of humanity explored and brought forth, you know, leadership, authority, what, you know, what we value in other people and how we, you know, see ourselves as part of a group, you know, various things like that. The acting is phenomenal. The dialogue, obviously I can't completely judge it because I don't speak Spanish, but the subtitles did seem to do a pretty good job. I didn't feel like I lost any, you know, any of the conversations that were going on. So I would say it's quite good. In fact, great. The characters are all very much human beings. They're all entirely credible. No one in this movie feels like they're a stereotype or just... Yeah, just anything. They are human beings. Excuse me. Completely, you know, personality, flaws, 
goals, you know, willpower. And there's also a kind of... I... There are a couple that you might end up not liking. Honestly, by the end of the film, I... You pretty much hate everyone because of just how far it's pushed, you know, the manipulation. But really, you can understand everyone, you know, no one really comes off as like a complete scapegoat. But yeah, just, there are some nice surprises. It's not really about like twists and surprising you, it very much is just this exploration of humanity and a character piece, you know, an ensemble character piece. But yeah, if that at all appeals to you, watch this movie. Find a way, watch it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.